if you've had sciatica and have had challenges with getting rid of it, this is gonna be the video you need to watch to figure out how to eliminate it. Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Gersten with Align Wellness Center, a chiropractor in Northbrook, Illinois. And I've been working with people to find the cause of reoccurring health issues and remove the obstacles to achieving optimal health and wellness without drugs and surgery. Today, we're gonna to go over my five steps to eliminate sciatica. If you've had sciatica, you know what it is. Sciatica is an inflammation to a nerve that goes down the back of your leg all the way to your feet. It can get mistaken for disc injuries, lower back pain, pelvis pain, knee pain, hip pain. However, with any of them, the key is to figuring out what's going on. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I've got five steps for you that's gonna to help to eliminate and reduce the pain now if it's sciatica. So if these don't work on eliminating it, you may not have sciatica and you'll need to wind up connecting with a corrective chiropractor who can help you. If you can't find one or don't know one, type in the comments. I'll look to help you find one if we're not the one. Also, if you like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We produce videos like this on different topics to help you, your family, and your friends stay healthy, stay in life, and enjoying it the most that they can forever. Now, on to those five steps. So the first step that we're gonna to look to take in understanding if we have sciatica, we're getting rid of it, eliminating it right now, is icing. Ice is one of the best things to do, especially when you've got a problem that's new. For most people, when they wind up icing, they just put a pack on their lower back or on their leg, and they do it for 10 minutes. Most of the time when I see patients, that's all that they've done. And I have to be honest with you, that can help an inch, but what you need is a lot more than that. Okay, so a typical icing protocol to me winds up looking like this. 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, and then 20 minutes back on. One cycle of that will help to reduce inflammation so you can start getting back to being you. If you've tried icing before, let's look to implement this. Now, if someone's acute and in a lot of pain, I'm gonna tell them to do it at least three times a day. So if that's you, you gotta get on it three times a day. Now I know you're saying, Dr. Greg, Dr. Greg, how in the heck do I do this? I've gotta work all day and I got kids and I gotta cook and I gotta take care of the house and then I gotta drive here and there. Hey, here's the deal. You wanna take care of your sciatica? You wanna take care of yourself? You wanna be able to do all those things easier? Block it out, make it happen, okay? I've got two kids. I make sure when I'm falling down, I do the things that I need to do to get back up. And for you right now, ice is gonna be one of them. For our next tip, I'm gonna switch spots. <clears throat> All right, so you're ready for tip number two. So the second tip is, is that you've gotta be sure to rest enough. For most of us, if we've had problems with sciatica or disc injury, it's because we've been too active in a stressful position. Making sure to take the time out to rest will wind up helping to allow the inflammation to reduce. How should you be resting? You know, for me, what I've found is that when you've got a problem with your sciatic nerve, it does have involvement in the lower back. So to me, the best way to wind up lying down is on the floor with your knees elevated. So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Okay, so I'm gonna lie down on the floor here, okay? And then I'm gonna put my feet up onto a chair, right, like this. You could do it on a couch, on a coffee table. And while you're here, you may as well be icing, like I said in step one. Staying here for 20 minutes for that icing session will reduce the tension in your lower back, reduce the tension down your leg, and start to get rid of that pain that you have from the sciatic inflammation. Another way or thing that you should be making sure to do is getting enough sleep, and that's in this supine position or lying down position, to make sure that you're getting the rest that you need. We typically go on 90 miles an hour every single day, and we don't take the time to breathe, relax, and take a step back to allow our bodies to recuperate, recover, and to heal. If you've been having sciatica, you've gotta add this into your process. Next up, a little change of location. So we're on to step three on how to get rid of your sciatica now, okay? We've gone through and we've talked about being sure to ice. We've talked about being sure to rest. The next one I wanna talk about is how to wind up managing anti-inflammation. Now for most of us, we wind up reaching for a Tylenol and Advil leave, or something stronger than that. And I've gotta tell you, those medications, uh, although they may be over the counter, they also have drawbacks to them and can cause problems. So reaching for them, I'm not a very big fan of. So doc, how do we wind up reducing our inflammation then? So the first step that I look for all patients and people to wind up taking is using this. It's one of my favorite supplements. 
It's an essential fatty acid. It's EPA, DHEA, extra strength. I like it enterically coated. Uh, this will wind up helping to reduce inflammation, not just on the sciatic nerve, but throughout your entire body. And that's really massively important for all of life. So I recommend for all individuals to be on about 1,000 milligrams twice a day. However, if you're inflamed and you're having sciatic issues, you may need to be on up to 5,000 milligrams a day. Here's the deal though, if you have cardiovascular risk factors, blood clotting issues, or any others, you gotta talk with your physicians before taking it, but this has been really safe and efficient. If you wanna see where to get those, go ahead and check the notes. I'm gonna include a link to our online store. When you're there, use our uh, um, provider code ALIGNWC, and that'll help you to get the supplements and nutrients that you need. Uh, but this is an absolute foundation. There's a couple of others that I really love as well. One's called isoflavonoid intensive care. That'd be my replacement to those Advil, Tylenol, or Leave. It's got great botanicals that are anti-inflammatory like bromelain and turmeric that helps to reduce inflammation focused and attentively. You can find that at our online store too. But making sure that we wind up reducing inflammation all throughout the system is gonna reduce the inflammation in your sciatic nerve. Now, another change of location. Okay, step four here. This one is massively important, whether you're having sciatica issues or not, and that is hydration. You can see I've got my picture right behind me with the water molecules. Powerful statement. The power that made the body heals the body. Thanks, BJ. He found a chiropractic, and if you wind up doing these things and they don't solve the problem, you've got to connect with your corrective chiropractor to make sure that you find the cause of the problem. Now, why is hydration a problem with inflammation? Well, because most of us are chronically dehydrated. And particularly right now, if you're wearing a mask, you're even more dehydrated. Uh, hydration levels, how much should we be consuming of water? Well, the typical rule of thumb nowadays is to take half of your body weight in pounds and that's how many fluid ounces of water you should drink. So the way I like to come up with it is I weigh 200 pounds, I should drink 100 fluid ounces of water. So I find this handy dandy, this is just a Gatorade bottle. I actually stole it from my daughter, Jordan. Thanks for letting me borrow this. Uh, and when we wind up looking at it, it says that it's got 32 ounces of water in it, okay? So I should drink three of these a day. Now for me, I know that I work out and the work I do is heavily demanded. And for most of the day, I have a mask on, so I know I need to drink even more than that. So I shoot for 75% to 100% of my body weight and fluid ounces of water. So that winds up meaning that I need to wind up drinking about six of these. So for me, in my day, I do one of these before I get to my office, one in the morning, one at lunch, one after in the afternoon shift, one before dinner, one after dinner. I'm there. How do you need to hydrate? I will invite for you to use that calculation to figure it out, but we gotta figure it out now so that we don't wind up getting chronically dehydrated because that'll lead to other health conditions. Once again, if you like what you're hearing here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I look to deliver information about different health conditions and how you can wind up helping yourself and when you need to find a professional to help you out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you know someone who has sciatica, Make sure you share this with them because they need this information. Next up, another space shift. Okay, so here is number five. Number five winds up being some stretches to do. Now, if you're in too much pain to get out of bed or to do anything, right, this gets crossed off the list. If any of the others we talked about cause pain, once again, crossed off the list. But these are my three favorite stretches for sciatica or lower back pain. We call them our basic. You'll find a few videos of them here on our channel. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down, and I guess I should tell you, why do we wanna stretch for it? Well, stretching is gonna to help to loosen up some of the muscles. So if it is a muscle that's irritated, tightened, or contracted, these stretches are the best ones that I've found to help people loosen up their spine, their lower back, get their spine moving, so that the sciatic pain winds up going away. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down, and there's three of them that I'm gonna look for you to do. So when I lay down, the first one that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab underneath my knee, and I'm gonna pull it all the way up to my chest as far as I can. If you can do this without pain, awesome. You're gonna hold it for 10 seconds, and then you're gonna wind up keeping your leg tight to your body and straighten your knee as much as you can. You're gonna feel this right here in the back of your leg. You're gonna hold it for 10 seconds. If you wanna add some more to it, pull your toe down towards yourself. Then, after 10 seconds, you're gonna relax and just hold it here for 10 seconds. Once again, if any of these cause back pain, you stop, call your corrective chiropractor. 
Next up, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. For our video purposes, I'm going to trust you could just watch that video again and do it over there. Is that cool? Give me a thumbs up if it is. Next one, you're going to grab now on top of your knee. You're going to wind up pulling it, your knee across your body. You should wind up feeling it back here in your butt. 10 seconds here. If you feel it here in your hip, you've got to do a modification. And the modification that I've found to be the most effective is to grab under your knee and straighten your leg and bring your leg across your body. You should now feel it back here. If not, call your corrective chiropractor. 10 seconds. You'll also do this on your other leg. The last one that you're going to do is you're going to cross your legs over like this. You're going to then grab between your knees and let your head go back to the table leaning back. Now for this one, I feel it in the further leg from you. 10 seconds here. Then you're going to look to do it on the other side. Once again, 10 seconds on each side for all three of these stretches. But if any of these stretches cause you tenderness or pain, we stop and we call your corrective chiropractor to figure out what's going on so that we can take care of the symptom and we can take care of the problem so that you don't have it again. Whoa, that would be so cool. Lastly, I want to make sure that you guys know that if any of these are going on, chances are there's more going on than just a local sciatic involvement. I'll tell you, I was just at the pool. I trained for triathlons. It was kind of crazy. The two guys next to me both missed the last two weeks for back issues. And they refused to wind up asking me what was going on. And when I started talking biomechanics like a corrective chiropractor should, they were like, no, I just need to dull the pain. Dulling the pain doesn't take care of the problem. You gotta find the cause of the problem to figure out how you can wind up working better, not just for today, but for the rest of your life. If you've liked these tips, make sure you share them. I'm gonna do a recap on them, those five tips to get rid of sciatica now. First one, we gotta make sure that we're icing. Second one, we gotta make sure that we're resting. Third one, you gotta make sure that you're getting the right nutrients and anti-inflaming. Third one, you gotta make sure that you're hydrating. And four, fifth one, you gotta stretch it out. If these are not correcting the problem, you've gotta find the corrective chiropractor to help you. I know the best one. Feel free to write down below and I'll get back to you on the best next steps on how to take care of things if things aren't working, whether it's that we connect via virtually, whether we connect you with someone in your area, or if we make sure to get you checked in here. And once again, I'm Dr. Greg Gersten. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you like what we do here, subscribe to our channel, pound that subscribe button so that you can get all of these videos on different topics when they show up to make sure that you and your family are staying healthy and safe. Lastly, if you know someone who's had problems with sciatica, go ahead and forward this over to them so that they can take the steps that they want to need. Once again, I want to thank you for letting me be a part of your health.